In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the moles of an element in a compound. Question one reads, propyl acetyl with the chemical formula 5CH10O2 gives the odor and taste to pairs. How many moles of carbon are present in 1.50 moles of propyl acetyl? This is actually a very basic chemistry problem. We are told that we have 1.50 moles of C5H10O2. And within C5H10O2, there are five atoms of carbon. So I'll write down five moles of carbon per every one mole of the molecule, C5H10O2. As you can see, if we multiply these two numbers right now, given that this is a rate, this unit, moles of C5H10O2, and this will completely cancel out, leaving us with 1.50 times 5. Computing these two numbers, you should end up with 7.50 moles of carbon. That's all it takes. Let's move on to question two. How many moles of propyl acetyl contain 0.48 moles of oxygen? To do this problem, we have to first organize our numbers. We're told we have 0 0.480 moles of oxygen. And if you look at the compound itself, there are two atoms in one molecule of this compound. So I'll write down two moles of oxygen per every one mole of C5H10O2. Very much the same way I wrote this one. Except when we multiply these two numbers together, I want to make sure that the unit I want cancelled is at the bottom of this fraction. Right now it's at the top. So I'll place this one mole of C5H10O2 over here and this over here. And you can do that for any rate. It doesn't necessarily have to be one thing at the top and the other thing at the bottom. You can flip it as you need. So I'll take 0 0.48 moles of oxygen multiply to one mole of our compound per two moles of oxygen. And I'll rewrite this underneath. As you can see, if we multiply these now, this will cancel out with that, leaving us with this number times one divided by two. Essentially, we're dividing it by two. Half of this number is 0 0.240 moles of C5H10O2. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the moles of an element in a compound.